Quite an hopeful session, I think. And there's my first fish. I should say my second, really, because I've had one on already, but uh, it came off. Great, aren't they? Urban Canal Perch. Water. You can see everything on the bottom, from the leaves to house bricks, slabs, coats, jackets, everything. It's all in there. But this is perfect for drop shotting, particularly if you want to, uh, you know, to have a go at it. Maybe you've never done any before, because you can see your lure in the water. In my case, it's a small uh, rubber minnow. And you can see it in the water and it gives you a chance to experiment, it gives you a chance to, to try your techniques. Excellent actually, so also, and also, I was uh, interrupted there by, by a cyclist coming through, it gives you a chance to observe the perch. And I'm finding this quite fascinating because far from being naive and gullible, as a lot of anglers would believe. All you need to do with perch is basically stick a bait on a hook, cast out and you'll catch. I'm watching these fish and they're not rushing in. They're not like headless chickens. They're, 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 they're watching the bait. Hence the, uh, you know, the... Oh. <laughs> Hence the thing about us practicing, if you like, practicing our techniques in conditions like this so we can, uh, we can outwit the fish. Anyway, I'm finding this, uh, this tremendously inspiring. There are small perch down there, tiny, tiny perch. And do you know what? They're more interested in the drop shot weight than they are the lure. This fish, I've been moving the lure right at the side. It must have been about two minutes, possibly three minutes. It was it was just dancing around with the lure, and then it made its lunge and undicked it. Crystal clear water again, of course, and nothing at all walking along the canal. You can see that the fish aren't there. Anyway, I spotted this one solitary perch swimming along leisurely. So out went the lure, about a metre or so from the fish, they're eagle-eyed, it spotted it, came in, attacked it, a few seconds later it's on the bank. I'm into a small pike now, I actually saw it and uh, put the lure out and it, uh, it lunged in and took it immediately, that one's in the net now. It's a tiny fish, a small jack. In fact, with the canal being so clear today, I've been able to observe all the fish and I've seen more pike than I have actually perch. And no sooner had I made my comments about the lack of perch, a shoal of about 20 passed through, only small ones, all about two ounces. They all hang around together, don't they? in year classes usually. 
and I think in fishing in general location is a key and what this session or what these sessions will uh, you know will um, emphasize more than anything because the water's so clear and you can see right across you can see everything they will emphasize that you need to be in the right spot because I'm covering about 400 meters of canal and I'm moving uh, from place to place as soon as I see some fish um, I'm stopping and, and what I'm actually finding is that the fish are, are in just little pockets now you could be setting up here with a, with a rod and, and line maggots ground bait or whatever and you might be on a place where there aren't any fish now the water temperature is still quite reasonable so the fish are active at the moment but imagine it's the depths of the winter and they aren't moving at all you need to get onto the fish that's why watercraft is important because we don't always have the benefit of being able to see right to the bottom of the canal do we and that's where we need to look for features like bridges where I am now stone structures overhanging trees that sort of thing just been watching a few pike coming through just cruising along and in with them amazingly a small shoal of roach right up close and personal they just weren't bothered at all and that's the thing with pike isn't it you know pike aren't like sadly some anglers even believe psycho killers they don't go around wiping out everything that's in the water in fact if you've ever been dead baiting and you've seen a pike lying there in the in the shallows and you've dropped a, a dead bait right in front of its nose you can leave it there for hours and it won't take they will feed when they're hungry certainly as far as dead baiting is concerned and it reminds me or reminded me of uh, one of the times i was in south africa and i was out wildlife watching and it was late afternoon water hole and the zebra and the impala and so on and so forth came down to uh, to drink and there were lions by the side of the waterhole lying down and at first they were a bit nervous understandably so but then I suppose like those roach with the pike they realized that they weren't going to end up as uh, as lunch or dinner in that case late afternoon and they came down and they drank and the lions didn't budge and pike are just like that they won't kill for the sake of it they will eat when they're hungry and actually as a result of, of that uh, makeup of the pike that it's not a, a ferocious killer they're actually uh, a positive influence in waters because they will eat the diseased fish they will pick up dead fish on the bottom and so uh, they do get a bad press totally and absolutely undeserved apart from the uh, shoal of very small fish that went through earlier I'm, I'm not seeing any perch at all or many perch as I say and I've just spotted two individual fish lying there on the bottom so I've put the uh, lure out dance it around in front of them because sometimes they will react whereas pike may not always uh, but perch you can usually entice entice a little bit of action nothing at all both fish just stayed there stationary on the bottom anyway as I had uh, a closer look they weren't fish at all they were uh, objects just rubbish thrown on the bottom but to me from up here looked like they were perch I'm on here for a short time as all my drop shotting and spinning sessions are and I think it may be time to pack away because I'm hallucinating perch <laughs> mind you having said that I've imagined far worse things in my mind over the years than fish I'm on my way home just one final task hello Deb I'll be home shortly can you get the oven on for me put some chips in Okay, see you soon. Bye. A few casts in and a tiny, tiny little pike. Great to see, aren't they? In some ways, I, uh, I marvel at them as much as I do the big ones. The smaller they get, the, uh, the more amazing they are, I think. That was brilliant. I, uh, I saw the pike intercept the bait as it was hiding in some reeds. It was, uh, it was amazing to watch. It came out, it twisted, it turned, it took it and uh, a few moments later I got it on the bank. 
if you're observant, and many, many folks are, you'll be wondering what's happened to session three, or have I made a mistake? No, I haven't made a mistake. I uh, tried a venue, it's uh, still part of the Black Country Canal system, but a dead arm, and of course, very, very clear, no cover at all on that particular bit. And I walked 600 meters along that bit of canal with my rod, and I did not see one single fish. I thought I'd run that on there, and I think I've got a branch. I did not see one single fish, not at all, nothing. I mean, I, I chucked the lure out in the hope that there might be a, you know, something lying there on the bottom that I hadn't spotted, but no, nothing at all. So we talk about location, and in that instance, the best anglers in the world could have fished that section all day long and still not caught anything. My last cast. I haven't got a lot of time today, but that's the beauty of this type of fishing, isn't it? There are a lot of industrial units around here, factories, and if I worked in one of those, I'll tell you for a fact, I'd be down here on my lunch times, rod made up in the car, pop down, have some fishing. In fact, I've only been here for, for minutes this morning. I've got a busy day ahead, but at least I've had my, uh, my bait in the water, haven't I? And I've caught that pike. Mind you, this is the place I fished on sessions one and two. I haven't seen much at all this morning. I've seen two pike, that's all. So uh, the fish sometimes do a disappearing act, don't they? I said my last cast, I've just, <laughs> I've just chucked out again. It's a habit, isn't it? <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, the worst thing, the only thing that I dislike about angling is having to pack away 